Good evening, buenas noches, welcome to Constellation, uh, welcome to the heated release of Desafio Candente, bienvenidos a Constellation aquí en Chicago, el lanzamiento de este disco, este Desafio Candente. Voy a hablar un poquito en inglés primero y un poquito en español después. Um, we're very happy to be here sharing this project that uh, I think is the result of a lot of different ideas, of a lot of work, of a lot of collaboration with different, with, with a lot of different people who came together for this message. Uh, um, um, just, we just released it two days ago on the International Day for Truth, which is also known in Argentina as the Day of Memory. Um, on the first words that we use on the album, it talks about how there are angels that still believe that all countries are divided by borders, you know, and that that's where they're en they end. And because of that notion, people ignore all the injustices that have done, that have per been perpetrated on those countries and in societies to build the order that we know today. So I thought it was interesting to release this, this project on the Day of Memory, on the International Day of Truth, because when we have and we in, when we interact with memory, when we interact with truth, we take back our history and we're able to interact with our present and try to build something better. So that's what we were trying to do with this project. That's why we have, um, you know, Black History Month. That's why we have Women's Month. We, that's why we have Hispanic Heritage Month. It's interactions with history, interactions with memory, and we want to be. Uh, pay tribute to that memory, and so that's what Desafio Candente is about. It's about taking over uh, and reaching and fighting back against the colonialism, not only that we live in our lives, but it, that is in our memories and in, in knowledge. So that's why we're here. I am incredibly honored to be sharing the stage with these gentlemen, who I will introduce mostly right now and maybe at the end. So if you can help me, welcome. Mr. Drew Hansen in the trumpet. <laughs> Mr. Artie Black on the tenor saxophone and bass clarinet. Mr. Ewan Edmonds on the trombone. On the other side, Mr. Joaquin Garcia on piano. And here on the upright bass, Mr. Kit Lyles. Now I'm going to talk a little bit in Spanish for a second, and then we're going to get started. Este, amigos, amigas, familia, este, en México y en el, el resto de Latinoamérica, muchísimas gracias por acompañarnos aquí este, en el lanzamiento de este proyecto que trata de lidiar con lo que es la verdad, con lo que es la historia y la memoria. Lanzamos este proyecto hace dos días en un día que se conoce por las Naciones Unidas como el Día Internacional de la Verdad. Este, también lo conocen similarmente en Argentina, el Día de la Memoria, para hacer memoria sobre las víctimas de la dictadura militar. Y, este, y me parece muy interesante y muy importante esa interacción con la memoria, que ayuda a pelear contra el colonialismo del conocimiento y contra una historia de explotación que hemos vivido de muchísimas maneras. Este proyecto... Se trata de eso, trata de interactuar con esta historia, de crear memoria viva sobre todos estos acontecimientos para que podamos representarnos este, con más este, conciencia en el presente y poder caminar mejor hacia el futuro. Este, este proyecto es el producto de mucha colaboración, de muchísima gente que le puso mucho cariño y este, en este escenario solo hay seis de ellos, pero... Fueron más de 50 personas que contribuyeron a este proyecto y les agradezco muchísimo a, a todas esas personas y este, simplemente les agradezco también a ustedes por acompañarnos. Vamos a comenzar con la obertura del disco. Y este, es, lo representé rápidamente al señor Drew Hansen en la trompeta, al señor Artie Black en el saxofón tenor y en el clarinete, Juan Edmonds en el trombón, Joaquín García en el piano y Kit Lyles en el contrabajo. Mi nombre es Gustavo Cortiñas, bienvenidos a Constellation y gracias por estar con nosotros.
Thank you all. That piece was called Avi Ayala, which means land of abundance, which is uh, it's a name used by people in the decolonial movement to refer to this wonderful continent that we all uh, inhabit. And because, uh, as you may uh, guess, they did not call it America once upon a time. So it was a name imposed like much of the history. So in an attempt to recuperate the history, uh, one of the first things was, well, let's figure out a name that we can call this that is not imposed. So that's what Aviayala means. Uh, and uh, we had the pleasure of playing with Mr. Javier Quijas Ixayotl, collaborating with him for that uh, piece. And if I may, uh, he passed away in November. He's a wonderful musician and instrumentalist, and, uh, he, and he also made his own instruments. So this is actually a little gift that he gave me when we recorded for this project. And uh, I just want to remember everybody should check out Javier's music. It's really incredible. And he was a beautiful human being and a teacher and an instrument maker. And uh, very lucky to have him in this project. Un saludo, por favor, si están por ahí a la familia del maestro Javier Quijas, este, que con quien colaboramos para esta pieza y que en paz descanse, pero dejó muchos recuerdos y mucha buena música y acá nos acordamos y le dedicamos esta pieza a él. Y muchas gracias por todo. We're going to follow that up with a song called La Fiebre del Oro, which uh, is about never being satisfied. It's about greed and it's about never, never having a conclusion and to that uh, ambition that we have that kind of fuels a lot of what we do. So if this somebody texted me, it's like, man, I like that song, but it just, just never settles. And I was like, yeah, you're right. So, uh, esta canción se llama La Fiebre del Oro, y este espero les agrade. Es acerca de la ambición, es como un pozo sin fondo. Entonces, la pieza no tiene fin nunca, no tiene cadencia. Así es, trata de hacernos sentir incómodos, como creo que la ambición y la, la avaricia debería de hacerlo también.
La siguiente pieza se llama El jinete y el caballo, en honor a una pequeña frase del de este, señor Eduardo Galeano que dice la división internacional del trabajo es como la división del trabajo entre un jinete y un caballo. This next song is called The Rider and the Horse, and it's in honor of a phrase by Eduardo Galeano in which he says, the international division of labor is quite similar to the division of labor between a rider and its horse.
this next song is called Pax Britannica.
This next piece is called Caudillos Campesinos, and uh, you're not going to hear the lyrics to it today because uh, we we got a smaller band and we we don't have everybody who uh, because of regulations and because we want to stay safe for everybody. Uh, but uh, on the record, Mr. Damian Rivero sings this song, and in the lyrics are written by a man called Subcomandante Marcos, Subcomandant Marcos, and uh, they're the declaration of war of the Zapatista army. And uh, it's a very beautiful poem because I think it's very relevant to everything we hear today. We hear today, whether it's uh, in Mexico, we have uh, a lot of movements right now for justice uh, towards uh, violence towards women. I think all over the world, there's a lot of that here in, uh, in Chicago and in the US, we have the movement of Black Lives Matter. And something we hear a lot sometimes is, um, yeah, I understand what you're saying, but uh, can you not damage the property? Can you not whatever? Can you blah, blah, blah? And uh, what this, the lyrics to this song do so, so beautifully is that they illustrate that peace is a privilege that some people are born with and some people are not. Some people are born in a state of war. So I'm going to read you the lyrics as good as, what, as I remember them because I think uh, Mr. Marcos does a great job. He says, you need a certain dose of tenderness to start to get going with so much is when so much is against you, to get up when so much night is upon you. You need a certain dose of tenderness to imagine amongst all this ob obscurity, one little piece of light to make, um, to make out of duty uh, and shame a command. And then that's how he starts. And then he says, you need a certain dose of tenderness to remove so many sons of bitches who tend to stand in the way. And then sometimes it's not enough to have that certain dose of tenderness and you need to add a certain dose of lead. So that's uh, Las Palabras del Subcomandante Marco, que es la letra de esta canción, este, y que nos hace reflejar mucho acerca de la paz como un privilegio con el que no todos nacen, que es algo que, como les contaba en inglés, es muy relevante para los movimientos que escuchamos hoy, que vivimos hoy, para la justicia contra la violencia de las mujeres, contra las comunidades de color, este, que siempre les dicen, sí, entiendo lo que dicen, pero no rompan, pero no hagan violencia, pero es, hay veces hay gente que nace en un estado de violencia y que a veces hay que requerir algo más que palabras. Thank you.
Thank you. We're going to slow things down a little bit. And uh, they're looking at me weird. I wonder if I'm thinking about the right song. Yeah, we're slowing it down. <laughs> we're going to slow it down a little bit. This uh, song is called El Desarrollo Desarrolla la Desigualdad. It just rolls off the tongue. Uh, it means development develops inequality. And uh, yeah, it's about all those beautiful tales of modernity, of development, and of taking us out of being barbarians in the name of modernity, you know, and how sometimes modernity and progress is at the sake of some, and it's not always for happiness. So that's what El Desarrollo Desarrolla La Desigualdad is about. And if you want to get up and dance a little bit, you know, feel free to do so.
Muchísimas. Uh, muchísimas gracias a todos. Thank you all very much for being here. Este, tenemos una pieza más. We got one more for you all. Esta siguiente pieza se llama Desafío Candente. This is Incandescent Defiance. It's the piece that gives title to the record. Es la pieza que le da el nombre al disco. And this song is uh, also inspired by another line by Galeano where uh, he says, I'm going to paraphrase, but he says, the actual order of things does not encounter us with our goals and it does not approximate us to our origins. It will not be the great corporations will, which will happily for us pick up the old banners of truth and emancipation that fell in yesterday's fight, nor, w nor will it be the contemporary traitors who will redeem the luck and the ideas of the heroes that were betrayed yesterday. It is up to those who are the humiliated, the accursed, the poor, the lowest, who have the humble task of improving this world. And he says, um, many people think that destiny lies at the knees of the gods, but in reality, it lies as an incandescent defiance in the consciousness of men and women. So that's what this project is about, Desafío Candente. Uh, voy a decir la frase en español nada más para parafrasear un poco al maestro Galeano. Este, no han de ser, este no, el actual orden de, la, de integración no nos aproxima a nuestras metas ni nos acerca a nuestros orígenes. No han de ser las grandes corpora, corporaciones que tendrán la gentileza de levantar hoy las banderas de, de verdad y emancipación que cayeron en la, en la pelea, ni serán los traidores contemporáneos los que tendrán el favor de levantar la, las ideas de los héroes ayer tra traicionados, sino que queda en los más humildes, en los humillados, los más pobres, que tienen la tarea ellos de arreglar este mundo. Y dice que, el que muchos creen que el destino descansa en las rodillas de los dioses, pero que en la verdad descansa como un desafío candente sobre la conciencia de los hombres. De eso se trata este proyecto. Gracias. Este, before we finish, I want to thank one more time. Quisiera agradecer al señor Drew Hansen, Mr. Drew Hansen. <laughs> Artie Black on the tenor saxophone and clarinet. Ewan Edmonds, trombón. Joaquín García en el piano. Y Kit Lyles en el contrabajo. Quiero tomar, uh, I want to take a little second to thank also uh, Mr. Scott Steinman, uh, the engineer who worked on this project with me and in thank you, Scott. You're amazing. Uh, we have here also uh, Mr. Matt Eulery with Wool Gathering Records, who <laughs> has helped us so much with the release of this album. And somewhere in the back, I think mm, my compadre Yuri Hevia is there. Much love to Yuri, who has introduced me to a lot of this music and who shared also in this project. It was amazing to have him there. Uh, he, I also want to thank uh, all the people who contributed to this project who are not here with us today because of all these circumstances. And there's about 50 people. So everybody in Mexico, Colombia, Argentina, uh, the US, everywhere who con contributed to this project. Muchísimas gracias. Thanks to, gracias a todos los que contribuyeron en este proyecto, además de los que estamos aquí. De mucho corazón, gracias. Eh, desafío candente. Gracias a todos. Y thanks, please, to Constellation for providing this ridiculously amazing space so that we can share music during these really, really challenging times. Thank you all.
Muchas gracias. Thank you all very much. We appreciate you all. Don't forget this is a CD release party, so uh, if you want to take us home with you, uh, we have some copies of the CD and of the triple vinyl and the CDs online, and you can find everything also on the Wool Gathering Bandcamp with Matt Eulery. So please go check that out. There's so much awesome music in there. I know Matt's got a couple records there. Artie's got some music there too. So a lot of my favorite artists in town have music there. So please check that out. Thank you, Constellation. Also check out the music series at Constellation because they have music. I think tomorrow they have another great show. So there's a lot of great stuff happening. So please check it out. Thank you all very much. Thank you, these wonderful gentlemen. And Buenas noches. <laughs>